What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwit and I'm back again with another video for you guys. And today what we're going to be talking about is an amazing deal that's happening right now at Walmart. And it's a way for you guys to get NBA 2K15 either for free, and I put that in quotes because I, it's not technically free, or for at least very, very cheap. And the way that we're going to do it is by trading in old games. So obviously, if you guys are familiar with places like GameStop or uh, some of your local video game stores that do trade-ins, you probably are well aware that most of those places give you absolutely terrible trade-in values. So like if you're trading in the previous year's game, like NBA 2K14, uh, for example, you'd probably only get like three bucks for it and that's kind of not really it's not really worth it to even trade those games in but what Walmart has going on and they actually started doing this well at least I started noticing them doing this when Madden 15 got released is that they're actually giving really awesome trade-in values for the video games so what I wanted to do was let you guys know about this, and if you're interested, I will leave a link in the description below. I'm also going to pop up an annotation with the website URL that you can go to to actually find the prices for these trade-ins. So all you need to do once you get to that website is in the top right-hand corner, you type in the video game title, and it'll give you a list of consoles. If it's on multiple consoles, you click on the right one, and then you tell them if it's in working condition, if it if it's got the original case, all that kind of stuff, because that does make a difference, of course, with the price that they're willing to give you. Um, but then it'll give you the actual price that you're going to get. But the catch is this. Not only are you going to get the price that it tells you on there, but you're actually going to get an extra 50% when you trade in multiple games. So if you trade in more than one game and you buy NBA 2K15, you do have to buy NBA 2K15, like I said, and you do have to trade in two, at least two games. But if you do that, you get an extra 50% on everything that you trade in. So I wanted to give you guys a couple examples of some of the prices that you can actually get on the games right now, uh, because I think that a lot of people, like I said, are not really realizing the type of value that you can get for uh, games that are out right now. So let's take a look at some of the prices that you can get at Walmart right now. And the prices that I'm going to be showing here are the prices that you get with the extra 50%. So if you're not trading in more than one, take off uh, that fi extra 50%. But anyway, here you go. First game, NBA 2K14. If you trade that in to buy NBA 2K15, you get $22.95. That is an incredible value. Like I said, most places like GameStop, they're not going to give you anywhere near that. You're probably going to get like maybe 10 bucks for NBA 2K14. So this is an awesome deal. Second game, Madden. Yeah, for Madden, if you if you get it on PlayStation 4, if you had it on PlayStation 4, you can get 1447. So that's Madden 25. Uh, and then you, on Xbox One, you get 1337. So pretty decent. Uh, still not spectacular for those games, but you know they're a year old and you know two months at this point. So it's not a terrible value. Uh, NBA or let's see here, MLB The Show 14. And this is a game that I kind of hate. <laughs> uh, when it came out, I thought it was really cool, but then it just had so many glitches. But you can still get $27.54 for this if you have it on PlayStation 4. Not too bad, all things considered. Like I said, that game's pretty old now, so uh, pretty decent value there on that one. Call of Duty Ghosts for PlayStation 4, you can still get $25.25 for. And if you have it on Xbox One, you can get $28.60. And then if you go over to Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, you can get 4131. 4131. Yeah, that's insane for a game that's been out for as long as this one has. I mean, this is coming up on being out for a year at this point. So, uh, very, very nice trade in value there for GTA 5. Uh, the Last of Us, if you have it on PlayStation 4, $45.90 you can still get for it at, at Walmart right now. So definitely love that. And then, of course, if you have some of the uh, games for Nintendo, I, I didn't realize that they actually did trade-ins for these. But uh, for 3DS, if you have The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, you get $33.66. And then Super Mario 3D World is the highest that I could even find for uh, for games, well, other than games that are brand new out. But you get $50.49 if you trade in Super Mario 3D World for Wii U. So pretty damn good value 
value there. And the reason, like I said, that you can uh, that you can actually say that you can get NBA 2K5 uh, 15 for uh, free or very, very cheap is that you really only need to trade in like two, maybe three of these games, or in some cases, you just trade in one and you can practically pay for it right there. So definitely love to see that, guys. And if you have more than the amount that the game costs, they're going to give it to you on a Walmart gift card. So that's what I did when I got Madden 15. I went to the midnight release, did a trade-in, and they gave me, I ended up getting like $200 worth of trade-ins. And, and you guys can go back and watch my previous video from the day that Madden came out uh, where I showed how to do that. And basically, guys, if you're new to how it works, just go to uh, Walmart, bring the games, and uh, what I did was I actually wrote down the prices on that just to make sure that they didn't screw me when I got there, <laughs> but uh, they didn't They didn't attempt to rip me off or anything like that, but I still had the prices written down for my own knowledge, and uh, I brought them up to like the customer service desk, and that's where they actually did the trade-in, and then I got... Uh, well, then I actually picked up a copy of Matt or uh, yeah Madden at the time, brought that up there with me as well, so that they were a easily able to do the swap, give me the gift card, and give me the credit for Madden. So um, it was really, really awesome, really easy. But just to let you guys know. Not every Walmart does this, so you have to make sure, and I would call the Walmart because sometimes they're really confused and they don't even understand what the hell this trade-in thing is in some areas, so uh, call them, make sure that they do trade-ins, and if somebody doesn't know, if they say, I don't know, ask to see a manager because that the, the Walmart employees... Uh, bless their souls, but <laughs> some of them just don't know what the hell is going on. So you sometimes just need to go ahead and talk to a manager to make sure that things get done for you. But like I said, guys, if you can make this deal happen for you, this is an excellent opportunity to get games for super cheap. You can get gift cards to buy, to buy new games in the future as well. And you're just not going to be able to get the trade-in value anywhere else that I'm aware of anyway uh, that you can at Walmart. So I definitely appreciate that they're doing this for the gaming world because like I said, I'm able to get games for super, super cheap now, and I absolutely love it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know if this worked for you. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer those in the comments section below. Like I said, make sure that you check the Walmart website for the prices. Please don't ask me what the price of a game is in the comments section because I'm just going to give you the URL and tell you to look it up yourself. Thank you guys, though. I do appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you press the like button if you did, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.